See all praises and honor to you, how? But I shame you, shy, but I shame you, Kodash. And Dubliners today, pastors and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to all our brothers and out there pushing through in our sincerity. I know, honesty, you know, this is a brother from James Jamaica Camp. Yashamai. Ashar. I war. Shafal. Dawabar. Yakuza Kala. You know, and this evening, you know, we want to have a video. You know, um, whole locust thing, you know, that take place, you know, because, you know, first we start to see that take place um, in um, Africa. They then moved to um, Africa to um, China, I believe, then India. And I see that reach basically now, um, in, a, in, a, in a basically uh, South America. So, uh, we've been, been speaking about it, you know, through the spirit and power of Hashem and Shai, in a basically reach over, over basically by this side of the world, you know, in, a, in a basically America. You see, because according to the scripture, you know, America is what the modern day Egypt. And last time I got smite Egypt with plague as before. I'm not a, I'm not a fat brother. You see, it's like I'm not a fat bring out the scripture for me. In uh, Second Isaiah 15. Second Ezra 15, right, and verse, uh, uh, verse 10. What? Uh, verse 11, let's get to the point. Say, um, Second Ezra 15, verse 11. What? But I will bring them with a mighty hand Go and stretch out harm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. And smite Egypt with plague as before. The first time when the Lord smite Egypt with plagues, We're going back to ancient Egypt, yo. you know, and basically, um, or people basically under the rulership of uh, fear. Uh, fear never want to let us go. Just like all the so-called white man don't want to let us go to them. So last time I got smite Egypt with plague as before. And the modern day Egypt is what? America. According to Revelation um, 11 and verse 8. Go on. Can. Smite Egypt with plagues as before. Can. And will destroy all the land thereof. And will destroy all the land thereof. Go on, brother. Revelation 11 and verse 8. Yeah, and verse 8, one. Right, this is Revelation 11, verse 8, and it says, And the body shall lie in the streets of the great city. Meaning, no people are going to know this, to this city of mine. Right. See, because I can't tell, Proverbs 21 and 16, say, The man that one out of way for understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Man, go on. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Which spiritually is called what? Sodom and Egypt. You see, so that, that city, just people, is America. That great city will be a scholar reading over the kings of the earth. Revelation uh, 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 17 and 18, I believe. So America is what? The modern day Egypt, yo, spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt. So the last time I smite Egypt with plague as before. So all these things have still been taking place. You see me? All go back to the judgment of Yahweh uh, Hashem Shai. America judgment got worse than all the you know, what took place back then. Even what happened to ancient Egypt. See, but they're not going to speak about, no longer speak about what happened to ancient Egypt, you They must speak about this deliverance, you know, or this um, destruction that will take place, because we are more greater God. than what happened back then. Go on, brother. Um, it's, um, it's an article from Strange Stone, which says, prepare for emergency. It says, um, it says, biblical swarms of, of but, um, but, but voracious um, locusts jump from Argentina to Brazil, threatening winter crops, devastating plague, heading north with Colombia, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Belize already reporting insects. Mexico and the U.S. next. Mexico, huh? the U.S. next. You know, you know these locusts are basically bringing up famine. You know, because you already have shards of food. To show that, to show what they're heading to right now. We should say, without a doubt, you know, we're heading to a famine. Okay. You see, and I go back to a Bible prophecy. You see, because if the Lord, how shall I speak about that? You know? He's going to have a famine. You can't bring it off, my brother. Famine and plague. Yeah, famine and pestilence. You know? Earthquake in diverse places. Matthew 24. Alright, this is Matthew 24. Yeah, yeah, Alright, this is Matthew 24, verse 3. He said, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, Con. the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be? Con. And what shall be the signs of the coming? And what shall be what? The signs Con. of thy Con. coming. The sign of your house shall come in. The man of people ignorantly called Jesus coming. Go on. And of the end of the world. On the end of the world. End of this wicked society. Jump to the final, brother. 
uh, verse 7 verse 6 and he said he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars gone. see that he be not troubled for all these things must come to pass all these things must come to pass go on Last but word. the end is not yet go on for nation shall rise against nation nation shall uh, rise against nation go on and kingdom against kingdom go on and there shall be famine and there, pestilence there shall be what famine and pestilence and we are heading into famine right now this is a what take place now. We see a lot of articles coming out, you know, that news coming out, showing about showing basically about um, the sources of food that take place worldwide. And now we have the whole locust thing. You know, it'll push it more faster. So this is you have famine and plagues like diseases. Go on. An earthquake in diverse places. An earthquake in diverse places, you know. All see these that are the beginning of sorrow. We've seen a lot of earthquakes you know, taking place, you know. There's a constantly. Sure, the time we're living in right now. But so, so, what's the Measure the time diligently in itself, yo. What? Article here. It says, um, it says, weather conditions may be forming to send a cloud of um, locusts in north, northern Argentina over the border to Brazil, threatening winter crops. See? And basically, hey, at, the, at, the, at the right time, we don't know because the weather condition, hey, are the, are the right condition for them thing your breed up because in a rainy weather in, I know we're in the middle of the hurricane season even though summertime and that but you know so at them time here hurricane comes so we have a lot of rain in them time here man in, so these things are going to spread and you know the wind <laughs> and the, the wind are going to bring all of them things here too as the scripture said it says, it says that would add even more pressure on the already collapsing global food network oh, it says, um, says weather condition may be forming to send a cloud of locusts into northern um, in the Argentina into the border of Brazil, threatening the winter crops in the giant farming nation. Giant what? Farming nation. He says, what? The locusts are now about 100 kilometers, 62 miles from the Rio, Rio Grande, the Sol state border. See? And that's that, that, that like up in, a, in a America, close to America. Man. But wind, but wind currents on Wednesday may take the insect into Brazil. Mm -hmm. Celso, um, Oliveira, um, meteor meteorologist at um, Samar Meteorology um, in Sao, Sao Paulo, said by text the swarm could arm wheat, um, canola, and barley crops. And them things they have to do with a lot of flour. Yeah, see? Wheat, wheat, and wheat, and wheat have to do with flour, man. So you know, so when flour and them the, the, the wheat thing that destroy, you know, say, mm. hey, I got a shortage of flour, rice and all and enough, enough of them stuff, man. Oh, there are a lot of bread, bread I got up and shortage, man. You see? As I think with wheat, wheat is um like a basically long lasting contributing crop. Can. See, the crops that people are producing nowadays, yeah. they grow them and by weeks come them spoil. Yeah, can. So you know that the wheat is a very important that essential thing. Can. So, it says, um, um, barley crops in the western part of the state, as well as native vegetation, he said. In, in late June, Brazil Argentina, uh, Brazil Agriculture Minister declared a state of emergency in two southern states um, to allow officials to take precautions. It says, um, here it says, biblical 15 square kilometer local swarm is headed um, towards Brazil and, and Uruguay mm. after invading northeast Argentina. Right. <laughs> so, so the whole of South America, they might, they might, they might, they might over, man. But, uh, as the other brother said the other day, most of the people are wearing the food basket. The food basket, man. They yeah. might attack. Can't. Yeah, can. A lot of uh, these things. This is um, Exodus 10 and verse 12. And Moses said, and the, like, and the Lord said unto Moses, stretch out thine hand over the land of Egypt. Can't. So it's a walk back then in relation to Egypt. Yo. And people say, whatsoever thing was it aforetime time was it for learning? Go on. Right, um, for, the, for the locusts. For the locusts, go on. Right, that they may come upon the land of Egypt and eat every herbs of the land. Go on. And Germany. all the hill that left, that that left. Go on. And Moses stretched forth his rod over the land of Egypt. And the Lord brought the east wind, like what the brother speak about, the east wind upon the, all the land, and they 
and all that night and when it was morning the east wind brought the locusts all right and the locusts went over all the land of egypt and the rest and rested in all the coast of egypt all right very grievous were they right before them and were not such locusts as they neither after them shall ye be right for they covered the face of the whole earth Gun. Gun. <laughs> Right, so that the land was darkened. Right, and they did eat every herbs of the land God. and all the fruits of the trees God. and all the hills that had left, and they remained not any green thing on the trees. God. 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 What happened back then? This is what happened back into ancient Egypt. And brother, we just keep telling you, last time I'm going to smite Egypt with plagues as before. as before, and this one I'm going to rest on you. And this one I'm going to move faster. You know, these locusts are moving faster. Right. You see, go on. Right, so, and remain not any green thing on the trees nor the herbs of the field God. although the, um, all through the land of Egypt God. God. and if and if we expound upon it the scripture says the Lord tell Moses to stretch forth the man man over the land of Egypt man. and guess what the Lord of we as the prophet out here man prophesying man the God. downfall of this kingdom Zin, hey Moses Moses are the Lord's prophet and we, we are also here as, as men of the Lord we are the prophet of the heavenly father God. man Calling the, the, the calling down the destruction of this kingdom, man. In this wicked ass kingdom, man. Hey, calling for these plagues to come, in upon America and upon the rest of this, um, the, the, so, the so-called white man kingdom, man, to bring it to an end, man. That's that's the job description of us as prophets. That was, that's what we're supposed to do, man. Hey, hey and, uh, we can say a short point. Short point. The, the, the scripture describes the locusts as eating every green leaf of the trees, man, and Gun. fruits. So you just can imagine the amount of locusts. And with these certain parts, as far as the eyes can see, see. there is no green leaf. No on green leaf, man. Locusts. You see me? You see me just locusts. <laughs> yeah. No. So. Better learn to consume them. So, um, Jeremiah 28 and 8, he said, The prophets that had been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against the kingdoms of war and of evil God. and of pestilence. And of what? Pestilence. So the prophets before us, the prophets are others of the same things here. The base cannot take place now. But we are the right now. It's like prophet of all. The spirit of the, spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet, prophet man. Run, run. This is Jeremiah 5 and 16 says, no, well, no, 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 no. Here, Ezekiel 5 and 16 says, When well, I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine. Run, says, the Lord, I will send upon them, send upon who? Send upon who people. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, Indian, the evil arrows of famine. Also, these hidden nations. Go on. Which shall be for their destruction. Which shall be for what? Their destruction. So all these things which are taking place now are basically um, lead to you know, the destruction of uh, 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 this wicked society you know, and the evil people along with these evil nations. Go on. And which I will send to destroy you and I will increase the famine upon you so and I will break your staff of bread. Because the Supreme Lord will increase the famine upon you, upon our people, and I'm going to basically what? break our staff of bread. You see, so right, we're approaching man. the time of famine. You know, a lot of people see the um, coronavirus thing um, kind of cool down now and you know, they must have a whoop up a place now. But if you say some, somehow things are go back to normal. You see, because he saw them, you know, they want to control you know, the narrative of what will take place, make people feel somehow. You know, everything, everything, everything cool now when the second wave is coming. You see, because it's a trick, he saw a trick, you know, just give them a little freedom. You know, they go on, you know, release a little stress there yeah. because they've been locking up the house for, so, for what, months. Mm -hmm. So let's just give them a little freedom of making them feel everything, everything is all okay. Clean you know, hands of the Lord, man. With, yeah, God, with, with, when things really like this, it's going to get worse and worse. Mm -hmm. Verse 17 says, So will I send upon you famine and evil beasts. Evil beasts, go on. And they shall be revy and pestilence and, and blood. And pestilence and diseases. You know, have way more worse diseases in their head. Basically, um, come. Because we believe that he's how he's going to release all these diseases with him have now. CDC, the Can. center of disease control. Can. Because he's going to go all out. And he's going to basically what? bless with the base called the sword. Imagine right, sparing none. Go on. Can, uh, can I add a point too? Uh, where, um, things where the, the farmers spray their crops with pesticides. pesticides. Can. I feel one of um, such things like locusts as well. So locusts are one, one, one form of pestilence as well. Says on, and blood but shall pass through they, 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 Nothing with the pesticide they must spray and I help them because right. like the more them spray that the more the locusts them are, uh, them are, them are come men, them, right. them, them are breed up, zin. And guess what? That happened to the spirit and for the Lord, they are shy, zin. And I will break, and I and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee, 
Can. I, the Lord, have spoken it. Can. So, the Lord, I don't want to basically bring his family, you know, right. to this wicked society. Right. Right. Second Kings 6, verse 25. And there was a great famine in Samaria, and behold, they besieged it until an ass head was sold for four score pieces of silver, for four score pieces of silver, and four part of a cub of dove dung for five pieces of silver. Can. So I don't know what I'm going to sell back then, you know, dove dung, right, dove that's, shit. That's so great famine can get there. Yeah, worse, it's going to be worse if this famine take place back then. The family will come and worse on this. It's so, so great that the scripture says a man shall snatch on his right hand, his own hand, and shall not be filled. He's going to snatch on the next. Yeah. Alright, this is... um. Good morning, good morning. Oh, yeah, I'm a good morning. And, and as the king of Israel was passing by up on the wall, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help me, help my lord, O king. And he said, If the lord do not help thee, Can't. when shall I help thee? Can't. Out of the barn floor or out of the wine press? And the king said unto her, What heal it thee? What heal it thee? Huh? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son that we may eat today and we eat my son tomorrow so when so we boiled my son and did eat him and i said unto her unto on the next day give thy son that we may eat him and she had eat her son so she don't she eat her son from the next woman so kill it man and it came to pass when the king heard when the king heard the words of the woman that he rent his clothes and he passed by upon the wall and the people looked and behold he had sackcloth within upon his flesh basically in another time of instruction because you have, you, have, you people have um, your leaders over you were set up what them call um, Andrew Wellness and the rest of them men then all of them leaders in Israel today, they are your king. Mm -hmm. These men are your king today, man. Zin? And when time like this come upon you people, you know them, they are going to flee from you. Okay. They are going to run. None of them are going to turn and say, um, make, make we go mourn or, or tie a sack cart up on your lines and go pray to the Lord. They are going to shoot you. Yes, like the king said. Hey, yeah. King said what? God himself. The Lord did not help thee. The Lord did not help thee. Why is he? Because guess, a real sentiment, because guess what? He knows that this there's nothing what him can do, man. This yeah, all that is above him at all times. Yeah. He told the great the families, only the most alone. The Lord and your house washing me was alone. Yeah, yeah. And deliver. Yeah, deliver you, man. In those days. Because I serve and shall eat you. Don't so if you're going to feed him, serve him. What? Second Ezekiel 16, verse 16. Second Ezekiel 16, verse 16. Second Ezekiel 16, verse 16. It says, Woe art be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack. And he and here you wail your children and be sorry for your right. destruction is at hand. Destruction is at hand. You see, so called white man, destruction is at hand. You so called Chinese, the Nars, basically get the full in the stick also because some more, you know, they feast some more them are coming to power. The so called white man, we don't them are prize. Yeah, and for them, kingdom of a rule. And for them, kingdom of a basically, you know, in a power and a maga rule. See, you don't get destroyed too. You see, you know, how giant is so called white man is slavery. Just saying, I don't know, so the sin shall take the kingdom, kingdom and shall possess it for ever, ever and ever. ever. Our kingdom, we are going to rule for ever and ever. It's right, man. Lord, you shall make him a rival, right? It was made for our sake. Gird up your cells with. So, like it says, uh, verse 3 A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Yeah. A fire is set among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Who oh, may drive them away? Who can stop them? Yeah. We can't stop all these things that take place. Right. Nobody. Because they all need to do it today for the Father. Jump out verse 21. says, Behold, victual shall be so good cheap upon earth. They that think themselves. That they should think themselves. That they, slacker, that they, should, they, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Gone. And even them, then shall evils Gone. grow Gone. upon Gone. earth, Gone. sword, Gone. famine, and great confusion. Gone. Sword, famine, and great confusion. And only that time the greatest confusion that take place here. Yeah, nothing but mud in this society right now. You know? The only thing left in this society, you know, if you get this trial. Right now, right now, so called white man cup right now, I run over. 
you know, to level of confusion and wickedness that take place to the highest level. I wouldn't say it can't get worse. Because when Esau he does not tell you. You know, the man have sinned. The scripture speaks for God. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. Many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. So these locusts you see, you know, spreading now, right across the world now. You see me? I will lead up to it. The famine will take place. And this famine is going to be greater than all the famine that will take place back then. Even the famine will be there early on. You know? But the one I said, a cover, a dog dung. When I say, um, a dog dung, dog shit, yo. Selling shit. Dunk yet. The yeah. worst at this time around. Hey. And through the spirit of the poor, the Lord, the, the so called white man, I'm going to use this locust thing to bring forth that, 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 that food shortening um, shortage. Agenda, food shortage agenda where them have a run. From yeah. COVID, from, from the COVID 19 start, start man. Well, and remember, so them said them have food shortage it's because of coronavirus. Well, because of these locusts that is gonna come, mm -hmm. you're gonna hear of more food shortage, man, right. from, from, a, from, a, from, a, from a more vast um, right. level. Says, um, and the other that escape the hunger so shall. All who escape the hunger, all who escape the famine, go on. Shall the sword destroy. Shall what the sword destroy? They mash it, the gun, the knife, you know. Go on. Basically, destroy Even the diseases. Go on. Also, basically, the sword also. Weapon, go on. And. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. Because you're going to dead by the light of the streets, you know, light of the bushes, even the water. And nobody going to bury them here. The place is going to sting. The say what? A dog shall, t shall be a scarlet tear their flesh. In the scripture in Jeremiah. See, if a dog never eat their dead body, the foes of heaven, the Lord, the how about Hashem, shall promise them a, 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 basically a great feast here. A revelation, I think, a revelation 19 and 70. What? Uh, for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. Gone. This is Ezekiel 7 and 15 says the sword is without and the pestilence and the famine within. within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword. He that is in the field shall die by the sword. What? And he that is in the city, in the city, oh, in the yeah. city, you know, where you know where things that take place because you know you got shooting, yeah. you know, yeah. and yeah. all different type of looting and things that take place. I'm gonna run down under the bush or in the hills, God. you know. Supermarkets and then they say, yeah, burn empty because yeah. no yeah. food. Mm -hmm. You really look on it. In a city, you can't really farm. In a city, you're going to die by the sword. Kind of a search of food. Yeah, by the by the famines, by the famines like yeah, but in a Feel where you can farm, you see, say well, I die by the sword, man. Yeah, yeah, and man. I'll come up there for your food. Yeah, so there is no yeah, way to escape no this. No matter where you go, most hey, alone you know, can deliver you. Know, um, when, we, when we've been talking about this farming thing coming up, yeah. a lot of people, yeah, people always talk about at the time I come, we have to eat leaf off a tree. Yeah. Hey, that's where the locusts are gonna, gonna mess yeah. up you, a lot of you people, man. Yeah. Because they're gonna eat all of those leaves. Yeah. 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 So I said the Lord will make it clear where the famine is imminent. Everybody have a feeling. Yeah. 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 Lord's will. Yeah. Yeah. It says, uh, <laughs> and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. Well, yeah. you know, pestilence, diseases shall devour him. The only escape out of this one come, is coming destruction. Right. It's three hours, she may shine all the way. See, if you have a lot of the side in time, then it's time to come. You know, out here in Jamaica, I say, well, dog, near me suffer. Zoom. Dog, when you have me suffer, literally. What's it, John? This is Lamentation 4, verse 9. It says, They that be slain with the sword. They that is slain with the sword, but the gun, the machine, the knife, the gun. The gun, the machine, the knife, you name it. Go on. Are better than they be slain with hunger. But better than they that are slain with the hunger. Read the brother with the scripture, say what? Many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. And this is what people say. They that slain with the sword are better than them who slain with hunger. hunger. Terrible is way to die, you man. Right. For these pine away, stricken chew, Can. Um, want, for want of the fruit of the field. Can. Say, um, say the hands of the pitiful woman. A lot of these of women are going to eat and children too. That's like what back then. As a brother with the picture earlier on. Go on. Say the, the hands of the pitiful woman of sudden their own children. Can. So they were their meat in the destruction of the daughters of my people. Exactly. And the I keep bring it out now the um, second Kings 6 and 25. Exactly. So basically yeah, people eat them, them, them pit them before me. And the scripture said nothing, nothing new and under the sun. Yeah, it's not worse at the sun. Yeah, it's not worse, eh? Can. 
This is um, start the verse. The Psalms 37 and 18 says, The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, Gun. and their inheritance shall be forever. Gun. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. So if you continue to push this truth until the end, so we're not going to be ashamed in the evil time. Yeah. When all they break loose and people start to bug out you know, right across the world, we're not going to be ashamed. Yeah. Go on. It says, um, and in the days of famine, the they day, shall be satisfied. In the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Right. Can, so we will get basically food for each other. Verse 20 says, But the wicked shall perish. But the wicked, right. and who is the wicked? You read Malachi 1 and 4, tell you, Ye dumb thou shall call him the border right. of wickedness. And also the wicked two amongst our people, they will basically get punished. Right. 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 And the enemies of the Lord, how about Shemi and Shai? Shall be as the fat of lambs, mm. they shall consume into smoke, shall they mm. consume away. God, exactly. Give me Jeremiah now, brother. Jeremiah 15 and, give, and verse 3. 15 and 3. Yes, yes. The enemies of the Lord, yeah, 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 yeah. they shall consume. Right. People say, You that is that with me? It's, it's against, against me. So when we bring out this word, mm -hmm. I said to you, said, Thus say the Lord, walk ye in the way. Right. You, you know, which is scripture direct you. And you turn your back from these things, man. You are an enemy of your own boss. You are man. And when the famine come. The scripture that this video is going to be destroyed. Yeah, the scripture says, you are a friend of this world, you are an enemy. enemy. Yeah, yeah, we are not of this world. Yeah. Yeah. What? Hey, scripture? Hey, the thing is that, no, brother, when, when you read the scriptures, you bring fear to you, no, brother. You bring fear to you. If you know what um, the Lord really can do, you know, man. See? Hey, the Christianity really destroys our people, man. Exactly. See? Because Christianity ain't going to tell you these things, man. I'm going to tell you about peace and prosperity and the time, um, um, a blessing plan is coming, mm -hmm. see? You're gonna have a receive a nice house, a car, or something wonderful, man. Visa see? plan, my way. Hey, you know, you know, look at them, they're gonna teach you the judgment of the Lord, you know, Balance. See? What? Um, this is Jeremiah, Jeremiah 15 and verse 3. Say, and I will appoint over, over them four kinds, say the Lord. Say to? Say the Lord, go on. The sword to slay. The sword to slay, go on. The dogs to tear. The dogs to tear. Yeah. So even a lot of these dogs gonna eat people, man. I eat a lot of people dead body. Yeah, even light people don't get eaten. Exactly. But we have some people, you know, get um wounded, wounded, you know, mm -hmm. and dogs are hungry, I see them and I eat them alive, yo. You know, like some serious way man punish your people, yo. Yes, sir, man. Sorry. Keep on saying what? King of terror, king Lord, you have wise what? The king, king of, of terror, terror man. I don't know people going to learn the art of yeah, yeah, man like the, the, the fear of your house, Bashi and Shai, man. The king of terror, as you accept. Yeah. See, yeah. Like, that's why we out here doing all the men. See, which we see exactly to the fear. Because for the Lord to see, we, we, um, we labor and God's will. He have mercy upon us and in other time we can be saved. Yeah. Hey, hey, this is just what I said, um, hey, in the scripture, man, when you, when you tune into the scripture, man, you can't live a carefree life. Man. The scripture teaches not to live a carefree life, man. If you, if you think about doing something, you know, out of the norm, like normally, before you come to this shoot, you don't want to go, um, go do a little thing, or you want to go, go somewhere, but a little lens, you go mash a little lens and them something that you're going to say, boy. Hey! Yeah, but, but you know. Okay. Yeah, man, uh, you want to go a, a, a little place and, and basically, hey! You have, to think, you have to think up and say, boy, hey, I wonder if the Lord will judge me for this or the Lord will judge me for that, man. Hey, the, 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 the scriptures keep in tune, keep in line. See? See? The scriptures keep in line, man. Um, he said, say, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. And the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. Exactly. So with that, I say, I'll praise the Lord to you. How? Bashim, how? Bashim, how? Kodash. And double and the pastors and elders of Great Stone. Shall I to all our brothers and out there push his truth? You know, can't push his truth. Because pretty soon we will leave this society. Very, very soon. Shall I